Dude, how did he do that? He legitimately did not pick up a call in the entire video. Today, you won't believe what I saw when I was watching people coming out their dreadlocks. So, let's get into it. All right, let's look at this first person. He has freeform style dreadlocks and he's combing them out. Also, I'm getting my hair retwisted right now. This guy is back with another banger. Let's check it out right now. Look at his hair. He has some really cool hair. These are some really clean locks. It looks like he has literally about two to 300 dreadlocks on his head. I'm not sure how he started, but this is the first video I've ever seen of him. Brand's making new. I mean, this video was actually posted, I think, a couple of days ago. We're gonna watch it until the end. Here's Kellen. Yeah. Let's get a dreadlock update. Hardest dreadlocks on YouTube, guys. All right, so he's combing out his hair with a plastic comb, and he has a ton of locks, so it's gonna take a while. But to be honest, he has some really clean locks, and he has, looks like a high top fade, which it didn't even seem like he had a high top fade when I was in that first clip. This is that hair that came out that first lock. I already broke a bunch of teeth off. I remember when I was combing out my locks, I, I went through how many combs? I think I went through, uh, I don't even know, but it was a lot of combs, I, at least four. And I didn't really go through them, I just had like different combs that I like to use. <sighs> All right, it looks like he's doing another session of combing out right here. And his hair is really matted up at the roots, which is actually a benefit. If your hair looks like this and your hair isn't maintained all the way down to the root, and depending on how long you've had your locks in, it's gonna comb out extremely easy. With him, it looks like it's taking a while, but at the same time, they're using plastic combs, which is beneficial because you're gonna preserve a lot of your hair but it's going to take quite some time for you to comb it out because it's plastic and it looks like they all switched to actually using the rat tail which honestly is going to take even longer because you're just using one pick versus all the teeth on the comb to get rid of all those knots but i mean it really just depends on what you're most comfortable with you're going to have the least amount of breakage if you were to use that rat tail but you're going to get the job done quicker if you were to use the full comb and I recommend using a metal comb, but a metal comb you can end up having more breakage. But for me, when I was combing out my hair, I didn't care about any breakage. I was just really trying to get my hair combed out as quick as possible because I was so excited to see my hair in its natural form. It's not that I was so much wanting to get rid of my locks. I just wanted to see my hair in natural form. This guy has such a benefit though because he has three people working on it at the same time. When I was combing out my locks, my first set, it was just me and then sometimes my wife would hop in and I think Kellen hopped in at one time but it looks like he's just about done looks like he has like a quarter of the way to go <laughs> looks like he's using a crochet hook which I've seen people use a crochet hook to comb out their locks as well looks like he has a about a 4a or 4b hair type which is extremely tight curl pattern his hair looks looks cool though it is an extremely tight curl pattern overall it looks sharp now his hair compared to the locks I prefer me personally, I prefer locks. I think it looks cooler. Boy, ain't no way, boy. <laughs> All right, let's go. This guy has freeform locks as well. And these look cool too. Sometimes when I see people, I'm like, dude, why don't you comb out your hair? But then I look back at my hair and people are like, dude, you had some of the coolest locks and I combed it out still. I don't think I had some of the coolest locks though. I feel like my hair was kind of ridiculous looking. I feel like now my hair has some of the, I think I have the hardest locks on YouTube. Honestly, that's that's probably what I'm going to title this year. Hardest locks <laughs> Funny I'm saying that because Kellen, he always says he has the hardest locks on YouTube, but he hasn't posted in such a long time. So maybe you guys can go and encourage him to make an update video or something. All right, we're looking at his hair. He has definitely a 4B or a 4C hair type. Looks really clean. I like the way his hair stands up, but he's combing out. He's getting rid of them. It looks like he's had them in for not too long of a time, but they look really clean. You can actually accomplish this look by using a dreadlock sponge. Actually extremely easy to accomplish, especially with that hair type. I don't know, man. If it was me, I wouldn't get rid of my hair if it looked like that. Because like I said before, I mean, I've, I always have times to where I'm like, man, I'm just trying to get rid of my hair and just have like a buzz cut or bald or something like that. Should I just go bald? Just like everything? What do you think? All right. It looks like he combed out some of it. I don't even know if he's using a comb. Was he using a comb? All right. Let's see. Let's see. I haven't seen him pick up a comb at all unless he's just sectioning everything out right now. But it looks like his hair is combed out right there. I literally think he's unraveling it with his fingers. In my mind, it looked like he, he had those in for a while, but then again, it could have been two strand twists that just looked like they were locks. Or like a two strand twist, and then he did a twist out, and then that's what it looked like. Yeah, I don't know, that, that looks like, I think he just did a two strand twist right there. All right, this whole video, I haven't seen him pick up a comb. I'm not sure what he's doing, but somehow his hair's unraveling. I think he's literally just pulling apart. I've never seen this done before. Dude, how did he do that? He legitimately did not pick up a comb in the entire video and all of his hair is combed out. I need answers, guys. Comment down below if you have the answer because I don't have the answer right there. Everyone has this feeling after they've done combing out their hair or cut their hair 
It's very like, man, did I just really do that? That's different. See, look, and he's already back to like some sort of, oh, two shirts twist. Cool little dance moves. <laughs> I'm sure you've seen this guy on YouTube before. This is Activerse. He's actually my friend. He lives down the street and he's gonna be coming out of his dreadlocks with chopsticks. Someone stopped this guy. I think he's actually almost done coming out of his locks. You guys are updated with him. Like, I think he only has like six. Maybe he's probably, to be honest, he might be done coming out of his locks by now. I'm probably gonna see him tomorrow and he's not gonna have any locks. So it's really cool to see that process, but he's literally been using just about everything you can think of to comb out his hair. And now he's using chopstick. Yeah, he's literally every single day trying something different to comb out his hair. Uh, anything from like a knife to a screwdriver to an iPhone charger. I don't know, he just, he does a few right here, so let's look at him. This is, this is the iPhone charger one. In my opinion, this is extremely creative and super entertaining. I don't know about y'all, but it, it really is. But we actually did a video together to where we collabed and I combed out his lock. It's crazy to say, but his locks are extremely easy to comb out. I know on these videos, it, it may seem like his hair is actually hard and I was talking to him and he's like, it's actually really easy for me to comb out my hair, but obviously to make it more entertaining and more fun to watch, it's like you add all these things into it. But his hair is extremely easy to comb through. And I'm like, dude, this, this is way easier to comb through than, uh, <laughs> look at this right here. His hair is so much easier to comb through than mine was on my first set of locks. So I was like, dude, what? And I don't know what it is. He has a tighter curl pattern, which in my opinion, I thought his hair would have uh, been tougher to comb out, but it's, it's really not. It was actually extremely easy. So I was super surprised. But uh, let's see how this goes with him using uh, chopsticks. One thing he, he did learn though is uh, with combing out with conditioner, it helps preserve the hair, especially since he dyed his hair so many times. Uh, it helps preserve the hair a whole lot better when you use conditioner and using water versus doing it dry. Which is interesting, when I combed out my locks, I loved doing it when my hair was dry. I don't know why, it just seemed a whole lot easier. It was less, less of a mess. So that was probably one of the main reasons why I liked it more. But it's a mission, like if I were to get to the point to where my hair's long and I don't want my locks anymore, like I'll, I'll probably just cut it, <laughs> really. Like I don't think I would wanna go through the combing out process just because it's takes such a long time. But he's explaining right here how the hair that's falling out is all the hair that is disconnected from his actual scalp. So all that hair that's coming out of the hair is not the hair that's attached to the, to the actual head. So this is hair that's naturally falling out every single day. A lot of people don't know that just about 50 strands of hair follow every single day. And that's on average. Yes, that is very true. 50 strands of hair follow every single day. And the reason I'm making this clip right here is because my camera actually died when I was filming this reaction video of reacting to people coming out their dreadlocks. But people are coming out their dreadlocks just about every single day and they're always uploading to YouTube. So if you want more videos like this, I'm definitely going to be reacting to more coming out videos. Just so you guys know, I'm not gonna be coming out my dreadlocks. I already told you in this video, if it comes to the point to where I wanna get rid of them, I'm just gonna cut them. All right, I'm not gonna play around. I mean, I'm saying that now, but then when it comes to the point, I'm probably gonna be like, you know, I'm just gonna come around. Anyway, I wanted to do a quick announcement. The Locking Joe is back in stock, and this is my first time ever saying it on a YouTube video. It's already almost sold out because I haven't announced it yet. I did do it through email. So if you are on the emailing list on greatlocks.com, and all you have to do is just sign up for an account, but you can do that on the site. And obviously, if you shop on greatlocks.com and that account is already made and you get updates on when new products are launched, just like the locking gel because it sells out so quickly. But I wanted to tell you guys that here. So if you want the Great Locks Locking Gel, make sure to go get it. It's just a very exclusive and limited product. And we're gonna get to a point to where eventually I would like to get it in stores. But the next step is to have more stock available. And it just takes time because of everything that's going on in the world. So it takes time to get stock and inventory and all kinds of stuff like that, but it is limited. And I wanna get away from being limited and exclusive so that it's for more people, obviously. But of course the other products, the crochet hook and the interlock tool, or even them together as the bundle are typically always in stock just because it's easier for the manufacturers to get them in stock quicker versus actually making each individual product for the locking gel. But I wanted to make that quick announcement because I never told you guys personally on here. So if you want products like the crochet hook or the interlock tool or even locking gel to make your dreadlocks, click the link down below to go to greatlocks.com to pick out the products that you need for your dreadlocks.